I'd like to explain a little difference in user interface between two different platforms for playing films. So the first one is Netflix. As you can see, it's got a screensaver. Obviously, it could turn off. So um, if I want to watch what is going on, I press one button, it comes out a screensaver, asks me who's watching, because it's been a while. I could have left it overnight. Um, scroll down to continue watching. Press a button. It says I'm watching the mission to explore well, it's playing. I can press the button to get rid of the menu. But to basically, new life, a new sorry, noisy. To boldly go and basically two clicks, and I'm watching what I was watching before. Let's compare that with Apple. Okay, so first off, turn it on. That was interesting. Um, not where I left off. TV shows, which is a good start. It was a TV show, so let's select that. Uh, not top TV program. It was purchased. Takes a while. Not recent purchases. It was actually an old show I was watching. So I'll go through and find the show. No, it's up there. Okay, Stargate Atlantis. Resume episode 11. Yes, I really want to resume. I did press the button for that. Look, if any part of that ship is in. Finally, watching. So, huge difference in user interface. Netflix will typically be one click, but if you've left it overnight, it's like two clicks. I have to confirm I'm Adrian and say continue watching. Apple, it's lost complete track of where I was, which film I was watching, the fact I was watching a TV series. I have to go into the TV, go into purchased, go into all programs because it wasn't a re recent purchase and there's no recently watched or, can, or currently watching find the program and then I can watch it. And Apple are meant to be like the king of user interface here, so why are they making it so difficult to just carry on where I left off? Why? Why Apple?